guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually a movie reaction video so you know how a couple of weeks back i did a trailer reaction for lucky which was a Ghanaian movie by abstract well i had a chance to go and watch the movie the day after it premiered the day it premiered i think i was i had work so i think when i closed from work it was so late and i didn't want to go watch a movie and fall asleep in a cinema the last time i did that was batman vs superman that movie was boring okay that was my like my excuse i was born so i fell asleep so anyways i went to see lucky at the mall and these are like i'm going to share my thoughts about it anyways lucky is about lucky mensa so as the movie says about lucky mensa and how because of one girl he had a whole string of unfortunate events happen to him i think the movie should be called the unfortunate events of lucky so anyways the movie was called lucky and it was about a boy that was quite unlucky and the movie just takes place over a day so over a span of 24 hours think about everything that could go wrong went wrong so going into the movie okay honestly i didn't have any idea of what to expect from the movie i already said this i didn't know what to expect from the movie i didn't know whether it was going to be about some boys hustling or was going to be about a love story or was going to be about some of the other things that people do talk about but we got a little bit of everything from the movie Honestly, like the person that I think stood out for me in the movie the most was Lucky's friend, Wadada. Because I felt like he was such a hustler at heart. Like anything that you could sell, you could sell. And I'm not going to do spoilers on the movie, right? Let's just let's just make that clear. There are not going to be any spoilers. Okay? Thank you very much. So let me tell you about the one thing that I was very on the fence about the movie. The ending. This is the thing. There were two endings or oh, well there was one cop out or like a fake ending where it was like oh, that was the ending and like what everyone was like oh, that was the end i was like yes i like this ending like yes i like someone that can end like this and then it turns out that the ending was fake and then actually it happened a different way so about that's like really you really did this to us i don't i don't like people that do that like end on that note and then whilst people are sad like oh why did they end i'll be rejoicing inwardly because i feel like you should end movies on that note. so for me the ending was a bit on the fence because i was like okay they were able to give an ending where everybody was satisfied but then i wanted an ending where nobody would be satisfied i think that makes me not like but then i like her like that it makes me a this, but then i really like it so anyways the end was good like the movie ended on a happy note for so for all those of you who like happy endings and just to smile and feel like oh all is right with the world this movie actually delivered on that so the end was actually quite good let me go into like the characters in the story so here's the thing because the movie takes place over a day obviously there are going to be some unanswered questions or questions that go unanswered one of them there are going to be some questions that go like wait so what happened to that person that did that 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 right those are things about it like especially about like his hostel was he able to pay his wait that's i wasn't going to spoil it okay so especially about his hostel was he able to pay for the hostel fees or what happened so the movie does try to answer all the questions it poses at the beginning but then it doesn't answer all and i feel like that's like most movies will answer all the questions like in life nothing ties up with a clean bow so if that's what you're looking for no but i like each of the characters in it maybe apart from a fear because i felt like i don't know i just i felt like a character wasn't done right or there was something missing about it but anyways each of the characters in it i liked i liked lucky i like how he what he brought into the role right because this is a virtually most of the people that were in the movie were virtually unknown people maybe unknown to me but me, some of you out there know them but for me they were virtually unknown people and i like that they excelled in that role because like it's such a great thing when you see people that you don't normally see in movies do so well in a movie and you're like I can actually root for you to do that, right? So that's the thing. Each of the characters excelled. Lucky was phenomenal in his character. You could tell that, you know, times when he was exasperated, you could like you could get that. It came across. The times where he was angry, it, that came across. So, like all his emotions were very were communicated to us very well, right? The fact that he was very popular on Twitter, but he doesn't have money in his pocket, communicated really well. His relationship with his mother communicated really well. How he relates with his friend, done well. So. For me, the characters, the two main characters, were they like, yeah, the two main characters, that's Lucky and Wadada, they were able to really project what was happening to each of them. Like, they really, like, you could actually follow them on their journey. So, they were able to really carry the movie to the end. So, that is really props to them. 
and another reason why i actually enjoyed the movie was that they introduced like a lot of people that we haven't seen in a long while like there was freda mugi okay fine freda mugi has been in a couple of movies lately but then there was freda mugi samajete fio who has been going through some issues but then samajete fio was there i think miliki miku was there and one of these guys one of the guys that did things to do for love people are going to crucify me that i've forgotten his name but he was there and that's the thing like they put in and oh i forgot about akofa ejeni so that that's the thing like they put in a lot of old people but then the new people were more so like even though you'd be like oh that's so much if you it never distracted you from what the other people were doing so that's a really great thing about it plot wise i mean if you're going to do a movie about anything that could go wrong goes wrong i feel like that's the best way to do it and the fact that this is the first like this is the first feature film from abstract i on i thought i'd have like a lot more qualms about it i thought i wouldn't enjoy the movie i thought i'd go to the movie and come out and be like oh my god that was terrible but i actually enjoyed the movie like it was a different fit it wasn't about you know it wasn't a great love story where oh my god when i peek into your eyes your soul transcends it wasn't about that it was about two guys yes he met some girl he wanted to impress the girl all that happens when you want to impress a girl when you are with a shady friend who you don't know his dealings but then you know he always has money but doesn't have money and you know the things they get up to just to get money and even when they get money realize that even when you have money something always goes wrong so that was it so I, this is like a short review about lucky the movie i don't know if it's still showing at the cinemas it really should be showing at the cinemas but honestly if you haven't seen lucky please go and watch it and what would i rate the movie seven over ten don't ask me why i gave it seven over ten that's how it felt like to me felt like a seven over ten or maybe eight but then seven i feel like overall seven over ten it was great so wait that's 3.5 stars oh then i give it four star it was really good it was really good it was and see this movie actually makes me hopeful for the rest of the Ghanaian movies that are going to come out right because there's bad luck joe coming up i think october 5th yes bad luck joe is coming out october 5th so i want to see what, how that looks like i'm very excited about the burial of kojo because i know oh lord that movie has come out one way or another blitz if you are going to get on Netflix, however you bring it to us, please bring it to us. I really, 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 really want to see the movie. So anyways, this has been my movie review for Lucky. And my name is Ifa Labi, as I've already said. Subscribe to my channel. I mean, what else are you going to do? And I'll see you on my next video. So whilst you're here, check out my other videos that are going to be. I mean, honestly.